Hey there guys, it's your boy Chris here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your videos within Opus Clip. So, chances are you already know what Opus Clip is. What it does is an AI tool that video edits for you. It turns long form videos into short form videos, right? So what I did here was I took one of my videos from one of my channels. Uh, by the way, I have a channel on fish tanks. I'm almost to 80,000 subs, so raise the roof. Woo, woo, woo. And what I, what I did was I copy this link to this video right here, and I pasted it into Opus Clip, right? Because that's how you use the tool. And then you click on Get Clips, and it's literally that easy. So, but now I'm gonna show you how to edit these video clips once you've made these clips, right? So let's scroll down here to the video. Here it is, it's Easy Plants. It's uh, essentially, the video is on the top 10 easy aquarium beginner plants. And these are the clips, right? It gave me 14 different clips. And it's really fascinating. I love Opus Clip, by the way. If you're new to the tool and need a closer look, there's there will be links uh, in the description. I also have courses, all that fancy jazz. Um, so let's get into this. So this is how you edit. Step number one, get into the dashboard of Opus Clip. Step number two is to click on this edit clip button. And this is going to bring you to the editing dashboard. It's essentially like a built-in video editor. And it's really fascinating what you can do here. You can essentially video edit this entire clip. Um, this is this is the, the dashboard here in the editor. And again, what opens up here is the captions. And sometimes the AI doesn't get the captions perfect. And what you have to do is edit these. And you can just edit. You can clip on it. And then you can click this little correct caption. And then you can do that and just change it, right? It's that simple. You can change the color. You can do You can change everything about the captions which is cool right and then for design click the design tab right here and you can change uh, the layout settings you can generate b-roll stock footage you can add emojis um, uh, what's really cool here is we have the video editor timeline and what you can do here is you can click where you want the splitter I'll call it a splitter um, it's kind of like what a, a regular video editor would look like and wherever the splitter is you can essentially just click on split current time and then that will divvy it up. But you got to be careful here because if I split this, you have to remember you also have audio attached. And if the audio and captions, you know, you just have to make sure you get it right, right? And then what's really cool is if you want to move around the clip because commonly you'll have to move it around and it's not in the right location. So you'll click on it and then I can, dr I can click and drop and drag, right? And uh, sometimes the location isn't right. You have to increase it. And again, you can delete clips. Like if I click this, I can I can click on the delete button. And what you have to do here is kind of just get a feel for what you want it to look like. Again, you can just watch the whole clip by itself. If you click over here, you can watch it and uh, kind of get a feel of what it looks like, right? Just like any other video editor. It's really easy to kind of learn all this stuff. And you can put a splitter in there. It says split at current time. Let's just do it just to show you. And now I have two different clips and I could delete this. You know, say if you wanted to split it or just cut off a certain section, you could do the splitter and then just remove and delete the other section, if that makes sense. And again, uh, once you're done editing what you want to edit in the video, all you have to do is save, click up here, save and compile, and then it's going to save it. See, if I click on save, it's going to start saving it. And you can see here, it brought me back to like the video like uh, archive, and it's going to tell you how long it's going to take to save the entire video. So hopefully this video helped you learn how to quickly edit your videos within Opus Clip. Again, visit the links in the description if you want to give uh, Opus Clip a trial and get more information if you haven't yet or if you already signed up, uh, whatever. I have all my courses and coolness in the description below. And please hit me up in the comments. I'm a normal dude. I will reply. I have 10 YouTube channels and I am a, just a creator dork with this stuff and I love it. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.